hi guys this is chevgen academy welcome to this channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can correctly read slab reinforcement details and also interpret the reinforcements on bar bending schedule so you can give correct instructions for your iron benders on construction site so we are going to be using this layout in this video and as you can see the layout consists of slab supported by beams and columns so you can classify this kind of slab as a solid slab so you can see the dimension of each of this slab we have panel 7 which is about 5.3 by 3.9 these dimensions are in millimeters the size of the beams are 230 by 450 most of the columns are 230 by 450 columns then another additional information we have on this layout is the shear wall so this is a shear wall that is going to house the elevator see that the slab has a thickness of 150 so the detailing of this slab is going to go like this so this is actually how the detail of the slab is going to look like so the first thing you have to identify on any slab reinforcement detail is the reinforcement identification so each of these reinforcement has what we call identification or what we call name on the nomenclature of the reinforcement as you can see the first reinforcement here has an identification which reads 12y12 01200bt inside bracket so i'm going to be explaining what each of these actually means the first thing here is uh 12 so this 12 is trying to denote the number of reinforcement so the number of the reinforcement so you can see that this line actually comes out from the slab detail and on the line you can see two arrows these arrows indicate where the reinforcement started from you see it started a little bit away from the beam and then where the reinforcement ends so the reinforcement ends here so each of the reinforcement hour we call the call out so this call out is this arrow that shows the position the start and end of the reinforcement and also extend outside so as to place the nomenclature of the reinforcement then you can also see this donut this donut is trying to indicate that this call out is for this reinforcement you can see that for this reinforcement this vertical reinforcement we have a donut that is trying to show that this line this fourth nomenclature line is for this reinforcement so the same thing applies for all the reinforcement on the slab layout so the first element which is 12 in the nomenclature of reinforcement signifies the number of reinforcement as you can see from the slab detail you can see that this do not it shows that from here to here this number has a number of 12 it has a number of 12 then the y after 12 signifies the type of reinforcement you have two major type of reinforcement commonly used in construction we have the mine steel and we have the i yield steel so whenever the type of reinforcement is represented by y or t they usually signifies i yield steel but when you use other alphabets which can include m or any other then it can indicate mine steel or you can even check the general notes that follows the structural document to see the meaning of each of these then we have 12 12 after the y signifies the bar size so that means this reinforcement this reinforcement that they do not identify as a bar size of 12 millimeters then we have the then we have a dash line after the dash line we have o1 o1 signifies the bar mark the meaning of this bar mark is if you want to look up for this reinforcement in the bar bending schedule you just go and look for bar mark one reinforcement so once you see bar mark one reinforcement that means you've been able to that is the reinforcement and from the bar bending schedule you can in you can see the shape of the reinforcement and you can also see the dimension of each shape so the bar bending schedule gives you the bar bending schedule gives you the cutting length of each shape in a reinforcement for example this reinforcement with bar mark one you can see that the the reinforcement 
forms a hook length you can see we have a small length here which is the return of the reinforcement into the slab section and then you have the top the bottom parts which extend up to this beam so if you check the bar bending schedule for bar mark one you'll be able to see the dimension of this length of this long length the dimension of this short length and you also see the dimension of this hook i hope you understand then the after the O1, we now have the dash. Then after the dash line, we have 200. This 200 signifies the, the spacing between this reinforcement. So let's say the spacing is not 200. It's something else. That will affect the number of reinforcement. So then we also have BT. BT signifies bottom top. So the BT, which is inside the bracket, is trying to show the position of the reinforcement. We have bottom, bottom. I will show you an example of some bottom bottom. You can see this one, this reinforcement by mark 12 is bottom bottom. We have bottom top. That is bottom bottom is the reinforcement that is placed just after you've placed your cover for the reinforcement at the bottom of the slab. Then the reinforcement that is laid perpendicular to the bottom bottom, but on top of it, just on top of it, is referred to as the bottom top. Then we also have Another reinforcement that is called top top. Example of this is bar mark four. Bar mark four is a reinforcement with position of top top. That is at the top of the reinforcement. This reinforcement is placed just there is only cover between the tip of the slab and the reinforcement. So that reinforcement is top top. Then the reinforcement placed perpendicular to this reinforcement below it at the top at the top position of the slab reinforcement is referred to as top bottom an example of that is bar mark 3 so most of the time the main reinforcements in slab detail are usually the bottom bottom the bottom top and the top top so those are the three position for main reinforcement in slab why the top top bottom position is for distribution bar so that means bar mark 2 for for reinforcement with bama 2 you can now see that this reinforcement has a number of four because four starts from it then is an eye yield still and then the size is 10 millimeters the bar mark is two if you want to find this reinforcement on the bar schedule you look for bar mark two and then the spacing is 250. you can see that the spacing is a little bit different from the spacing of 200 and the size is also different the reason is because it is a distribution reinforcement you know i told you distribution reinforcement in slab are placed at top bottom i hope you get and the number is four but if you check the reinforcement itself it's just a straight line and then it has two arrow we have one starting from here and ending here and we also have another one starting from here and ending here you can look at where my mouse is hovering about so from here to here is two number from here to here is two number so two plus two will give you four so that's why the bar mark the number is four and this is how each of these reinforcements are detailed so let us now look at the bar bending schedule the bar bending schedule actually takes different form depending on how you want your bar bending schedule to look like but the most important element in the bar bending schedule is so that you're able to determine the quantities of reinforcement so the first element here is the bm the bm signifies the bar mark so if i say that a reinforcement has a bar mark one so that means if i come to the if i come to the detailing slab so i'm referring to this reinforcement with the bar mark one so or the bar bending schedule so that means this is the reinforcement the bar mark is one if i want to look for a reinforcement with bar mark 10 on the drawing all i have to do is this is bar mark 10 reinforcement if i want to know the size the length of this straight bar all i have to do is come to the bar bending schedule and look for bar mark 10. you can see that for bar mark 10 the size the next column after the bar mark is the size of reinforcement this actually gives the diameter of the reinforcement so we can see that bar mark 10 has a diameter of 10 mm bar mark 1 has a diameter of 12 mm bar bending schedule is just a summary of the slab detailing i hope you understand
so then we now have the quantities the quantity is the number of reinforcement that you have on that slab for bamako and we have 12 number then we have the length you can see this length signifies the total length you can see that bamako one has about it has an hook shape you have a straight line and then you have an hook so the total length of all those length is this dimension 60 65 so if the iron benders were to want to cut for bamak one this is the length they will cut they will cut six meters 65 millimeters i hope you understand and then this is the shape this shape depending on how you arrange your bar bending schedule like i mentioned bar bending schedule can also take different form you can see that for bamak one it forms the hook just like the way you have it the longer side has a length of five three five six five while the return length here is hundred so and then the return to the reinforcement is six hundred so that means on the slab detail from here to here is five three six five and then from the tip here to here is six hundred and then this bent bar is hundred millimeter spacing so the dimension of this is in millimeters anyway so this total is calculated by multiplying the quantities by the length so if you multiply 12 by the length and this length is in millimeters then you get the total in meters you divide by 1000 to get the total in meters so this is how you can read the bar bending schedule together with the slab detailing then another important things that you can also get from the bar body schedule aside from the shape of the bar as well as the cutting length is the total number of reinforcement or total tonnage of reinforcement so and how do you calculate that you calculate that by adding up the total length this total length you can you add everything together from bar mark one to bar mark 18. you can see that the bar bending schedule we have 18 type of reinforcement so if you come to the slab detailing you see that the you have from this is bamak one this is actually arranged uh in order this is up to bamak 11 then we have 12 13 up to 18 and bamak 18 has a diameter of 12 mm with a number of six and a spacing of 200 i hope you see this so if you come to the bar bending schedule you see that that is actually what we have bar mark of 18 bar size of 12 number of six and then this is the shape if you come to bar mark 18 let's see bar mark 18 so this is bar mark 18 you can see you can see the shape so it forms that shape so that is why you have it on the bar bending schedule so how do you now calculate the total weight of reinforcement so from this slab we have two type of slab so this is the summary of the schedule we have y10 and we have y12 so you add up the total length of y10 this is the total length of y10 according to this example you then you add up the total length of y12 this is the total length of y12 according to this example then we have what we call the unit weights each size of reinforcement has its own unit weights i hope you get so if you are using the si unit in millimeters kilogram and meters so the unit weight is given by the formula d square over one two six d refers to the diameter of the bar so if a reinforcement has a bar size of 10 mm so that means using that formula the unit weight of that reinforcement is d square that is 10 times 10 divided by one six two so that is 0 0.617 and that is what you have here you can do the same thing to calculate for y12 as well then to not get the total weight the total weight is just the multiplication of the unit weight by the total length and it has to be in the unit weight is in kilogram per meter the length is in meters so when you multiply it you have 90.8 and here you have for the y12 you have 905.69 then the is going to give us 996.49 but the reason why we have this times 2 times 2 times 2 in this table is because this is the second floor slab detail the second floor and the first floor for this project is the same size and then the slab detailing is the same so but we don't want to be repeating them so that's why we put this time 2 times 2 so that when the QS is working on this project. You will understand that this all this 
bar reinforcement are actually repeated two times in the building i hope you understand so that is why we have this times two times two times two so this is how you can read your slab detailing and also com correlate it with the bar bending schedule if you like what i've shown you kindly hit the subscribe button this will allow others to to see this video and also learn from it and if you are interested in learning how to actually detail slab you can check out this video on udemy it's just a video on slab detailing for reinforced concrete structure using autocad in this course you are going to learn from scratch how you can detail different kind of structural reinforced concrete element from slab beam column shear wall staircase foundation and others then you also learn how to plot but in case you are interested in learning design you can check out my website chefjinacademy.com on that website you see a lot of courses on structural design thank you we we'll see you in the next one